Good morning, good afternoon, good evening friends. I'm Natalia, this is Embody the Power. Take what resonates, leave the rest, because life's dynamic and subject to change. Um, remember, if you're not directly affected by anything that I'm talking about in this video, you may be crossing paths with someone who is, so please share, by all means share if you think this content's gonna help them. Um, I just wanna take a minute to show appreciation, say thank you very much for helping me and sharing, and yeah, just thanks. <laughs> thank you. Um, okay, today's video, um, I'm being guided to do it slightly different today. Uh, what it is going to be on, I don't know where, what shape or form it's going to go because I'm going to pull some cards for this one um, because I feel, I feel like it's specific. Okay, so it's going to be on like um, family, genetics, soul family, soul connections, friends and there's a depressive energy in relation to magical thinking. So I have a feeling this video is going to be on magical thinking. But let's see, so... I'm gonna pull some cards to see what's coming up or why. Let's have a look. Right. All right, so you're feeling, I'm feeling in the dark about this. Sometimes I get an inkling about what's coming up and sometimes I don't. So I'm feeling in the dark about it. Um, and it's almost like, okay, so the Page of Cups. It's almost like you want to extend an olive branch, yeah? So there's some stuff that's happened in relation to soul family. It's left you feeling depressed. Um, now, it could be flip. You could be the person that is um, feeling depressed because of a family connection, yeah? Um, and that's not quite, that. you know, that's quite... It's kind of a la mode at the moment because people are feeling very polarised about different things and sort of trying to stand there okay so it's about trying to it's almost like you want to get your point across you want your stand your ground but you don't want to offend other people or you don't you want to be entitled to have your own opinion um and be able to sort of have a conversation about it without being shut down so this feels like what it was about it was either you're the person that shuts people down or you're the person who is shut down and it's almost like you want to extend um, a message of love. It's like an olive branch. You want to put that out there. It's a small cup from a small place, from a new way of thinking. Okay, so you've come out, oh, beautiful, goosebumps, right. You've come out of magical thinking, yeah? So magical thinking, what is it? I could want to, you could have a, a trait, yeah? A characteristic that is very, very like this, yeah? Um, and it's like, I'm gonna change it, I'm, I recognize there's an issue, and then the next day you're expected to have changed that. That is magical thinking, because you need, well, it, most of the time it's magical thinking, because you need time to process and adapt, and the universe needs to give you, um, okay, so you've, you know, you um, can you walk the talk kind of thing? So you've read a book, on how to do something, but have you actually put it into practice? So most of us, we need, in when we're adapting or changing our perspective, um, we need a bit of time, a transition time, for that to actually cement, solidify, which is probably why people say it takes 21 days to form a habit, yeah? Because there's there's so many aspects of you that needs to get on board with this new way of thinking. But where I'm, where, what I'm seeing is the magical thinking energy is over. Yeah? Okay, yeah, and it's nine of pentacles. You're in your independent thought, yeah? It's like you've you've come into this person you wanted to be. And it's after going through a bout of depression because of lost lost communication with um family or friends. Yeah, so that's yeah, so that's what it is. So it's like you're standing independent, you want to put out an olive branch, or you're kind of alone, but this isn't alone in a place that's um this isn't alone in a place of abundance, but it's almost like you want to share it. You want you want to sort of see how someone's doing, you want to tell someone how you're doing, yeah. It's almost like you want to bury the hatchet. That's what I'm hearing. Um and you're in two minds whether or not to do it because you're not sure, okay, again, although you've come into your power, you've come into a new way of being, you've assessed all the different points, um, you're not sure if that person is, you're not sure if you're magical thinking, and it's almost like, okay, <laughs> I, I can see a picture of George Bush, what was that famous thing he did, fool me once, shame on um, you, fool me twice, shame on me, and then I'll take it, fool me a third time, Pff, it's just a crying shame, isn't it? Um, but that's where you're at. You're like, you don't want to walk into something and you're a bit confused about the decision 
Um, I can hear, um, do I stay or do I go? If I go, there will be trouble. If I commit, there will be double. So come on and let me know. Sorry, getting a bit lost there. <laughs> um, so yeah, you're not sure. You're not sure. But you're in your flow. So whether you decide to hold off for a bit or move forward, trust your intuition. Because you're actually flowing and you've come out of a very, very deep place of contemplation and it's been tough for you, you know, no, no disconnection, you know, I've talked about disengaging, but it doesn't have to be for life, and sometimes that's just so you can pick up the pieces of your life, yeah, um, you've been in a deep energy, and you've had to do some self-worth, but you've also had to do some self, I want to say annihilation, you've been annihilating yourself too long, but you're in a better energy now, or you're coming into that better energy, so if you're somebody that's coming out of this, you won't be all right, <laughs> king of pentacles you're going to make a decision to handle your business you're going to whatever the decision is that you're going to make whether or not to sort of extend this olive branch or if you have or not you're going to do it from a place of power and empowerment and the king of pentacles is um about things earthly yeah so your health it's gonna you're going to make decisions based on your health based on your finances based on how it's going to affect the stability of your home yeah so I'm hearing, don't worry. Every little thing is gonna be all right. It already is all right, you just gotta walk into that energy. Um, so yeah, is there anything else? Split the deck, take one from the middle. Two of cups. You're gonna have a good partnership, yeah? There's gonna be a reconciliation. Yay, yeah? People have learned, okay, on the bottom, the world. So you've ended this cycle. You've been through this cycle um, and I've got massive, I can feel like huge, like my body feels like goosebumps all the way over. It's like a go glow. It's like go, you're doing the right thing. You're on the right path. Um, you've got through the magical thinking stage for a majority. Um, you have changed. So the energy you're gonna be met with has changed. Um, trust yourself when you're making those decisions. Um, so yeah, it is. It, it's very positive, very, very positive. I like that. <laughs> I like that Colgate flavor. Um, <laughs> where's that come from? <laughs> um, so yeah, is there anything else? So yeah, this could be a reading that, um, that's gonna help someone that's coming out, they're just stepping out of the depression and realizing that they were magical thinking and they're no longer doing that. They want to extend of olive branch, they're feeling independent within themselves, they're feeling stable, they're feeling grounded. They're making a decision to stand in their power, that power may be to move forward or to hang back a bit. Only you will know, yeah, but you're gonna know, yeah? You're gonna know because you're gonna think, okay, I work hard at this, this coming out of depression. Um, and I want to keep it that way, yeah? So it's all going to be all right. It already is all right. So I think I've said that, because <laughs> it really is. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Well, look, wherever you are, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, and I look forward to speaking to you next week. Thank you very much. <laughs>